Hey, and welcome to the Data Vice channel. If it's your first time, we're a community created to learn and grow together. If you find this content beneficial, we'd love for you to like and subscribe to the video and share it with somebody that it might positively impact. With that being said, let's get into it. Hey everyone, wanted to chat today about how to deal with your child when they're throwing things. We have a two-year-old, I've been dealing with this a decent amount, whether it's food onto the floor, very common, or if it's a toy across the room. And I wanna come up with a protocol of what I can use every time and how I deal with my child and try to deal with it in the best way I can. So I came up with this acronym, ACT, A-C-T. And I'm gonna go over it, and it's just a three-step process. Anytime your child throws something, this is what you do. The A stands for acknowledge. You wanna acknowledge that they're frustrated about something. And it can go something like this, and we'll use the example of a child throwing food on the floor, but you can acknowledge them and saying, hey, it really seems like you're frustrated. Are you frustrated about something? So number one, you're acknowledging. So number two is we're gonna say can't. The C stands for can't. I can't let you do that. And we're gonna say it in a few different ways, but I can't let you do that because food belongs on your plate, not on the floor, and then somebody has to clean it up. I can't let you do that. That's not how we use those toys. I can't let you do that. That might damage the floor or might break something or hurt something. So you say, can't. I can't let you do the, the, the action that they're doing, which is throwing. The third thing is T for ACT, the ac acronym, and it stands for TAKE. You're gonna take that item, you're gonna move it out of sight, out of mind, and it have to be for the entire day, but it has to be for a little bit of time, preferably you know, a couple hours, so they know that they just can't do that or there will be repercussions. The next thing I like to do, or I think is best, is if the child can speak, ask them to, Hey, can you use your words? What, what are you wanting? What are you needing? Use your words. I think that is actually helpful and you're reinforcing that you're encouraging them to speak and ask for what they want instead of get frustrated and just throwing things, especially if they're getting frustrated over something, something not getting past them, they're not getting something. You're trying to reinforce that you want them to ask for it instead of just getting frustrated and throwing stuff. Lastly, it's important not to give it a huge amount of attention. So you don't want to get really frustrated or really focus on the throwing. You want it to be relatively quick, swift action because you don't want the child to think that, hey, I can do this and it's going to get me attention. So you want to just do the quick, and we'll summarize it again, act, which is acknowledge. It's I can't let you do this. Or it's acknowledge frustrations. It's I can't let you do this and it's take the item away. So if you can do that relatively swiftly and not giving it too much of mind, realizing that's a season in their life and that it's probably gonna pass relatively quickly, that's gonna be your best protocol. So hope this helps. Guys, if you found this information valuable, I'd love you to like and subscribe to the, to the video, to the channel. It's gonna help positively impact a lot of parents out there and uh, it would really make me happy, so. Have a Kaizen life, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode.